work on the Permian Basin has changed over the years. Conventional wells of the 20th century were relatively simple to maintain. A single well tender could inspect dozens a day. Now, roustabouts of the Permian oversee complex hydrocarbon supply chains. Fracking rigs, pressurized pipelines, and other modern infrastructure require active management. Roustabouts regularly travel to remote locations to perform costly and time-intensive equipment inspections, exposing them to risks such as falls and machine hazards. To make maintenance routines more efficient, oil and gas workers are embracing digital technology. They're exchanging clipboards for tablets and visual inspection for remote sensors. The latest addition to their tool set is drones. What we're trying to do with drones is to enable uh, the workforce. A lot of what we do still involves a human in the loop. As someone will always be creating a mission, refining data, uh, looking at the outputs. We're really trying to make the space safer, more efficient. For the Rouseabout Lachlan Pipeline, drone technology means to him that he's going to be able to focus on maintenance and focus on higher value add tasks rather than doing very manual inspections and having to write things on a clipboard. He can now kind of partner up with journeyman electricians, journeyman welders, journeyman maintainers to uh, improve his skill set and bring more value to the business overall. With the traditional way of executing field service management, uh, there are inherent problems with that. Uh, number one, where does that data go? Is it, is it connected to anything at all? Which asset? So there, there could be accuracy problems. There could be inaction and inaccurate assessment. Drone technology represents a vast opportunity to collect data that we never could before. What you have are collection points gathered from humans, right? People that are out in the fields uh, doing visual inspections, having clipboards, having checklists. Maybe a custom app was developed at one time, but likely that app is disconnected from the rest of information that a company has. When you structure data, like what Precision Hawk can do with their drones, is give you a precise figure. And what you can do with field service technology of today is define thresholds that may require action and alerts. Maybe something doesn't have to be resolved, but people may need to be aware and monitor the situation. So after defining these thresholds, and if these thresholds are breached, technology today can automate work orders that are sent to the right people at the right time and even inform them, hey, uh, it, we detected this level of a problem and that will require these things in the field, you may need to change out these parts. So now you have a more facilitated process and a more complete process. First steps a company can take in deploying drones are to get a handle on what questions they want to be able to answer. What are the business problems that they're facing? And really be able to take a deep dive on the business processes behind those. Then they're able to engage service providers and drone providers in order to develop solutions that will automate data management and automate uh, handoff processes to, to smooth their business process and give them the insight that they're looking for. So when we create a mission, we take into account what sort of equipment we need to capture. And in uh, alignment with what the client requires, we will create a autonomous mission so that we fly in the most efficient uh, and safest manner. For oil and gas missions, we use uh, methane detection lasers, range finding lasers, OGI cameras, as well as RGB and LiDAR. The methane lasers, you know, are fairly obvious that we're able to uh, quantify densities for methane. Uh, the range finders help us to locate different equipment on pad. The OGI sensor helps to uh, identify the specific location for the methane detection. The RGB sensors are able to help with change detection and identify you know, what's on the pad that shouldn't have been there or what, what are the anomalies that we're looking for. And then the LIDAR helps with uh, you know, specific engineering calculations and being able to quantify to go into systems like AutoCAD. The information that drones can collect are kind of all manner of things geospatial. Anything that they can see, they can measure and collect on and be able to deliver back to uh, the business process as structured data. For example, uh, let's say that we take 
our Precision Hawk drone and fly our pipelines, go over a compressor and it finds a methane gas leak, right? First of all, a human may not be able to trace some of those, that amount of concentration that still could be lethal, right? Or pose a danger in some other way. So that's, that's number one that we can address is safety. With new technology today though, once that gas leak is detected, our system can notify those that are properly equipped within the area to take care of the issue right away. So a work order specifically can be routed to them, tell them where the problem is, when it was detected, what level uh, was detected, maybe even where specifically on the asset it was detected, and also give you those tools to be prepared so that you're not running back and forth to your office to get the right equipment to finally resolve the issue. So the, the, the goal is to take that first path to resolution rate to a higher level. Um, so those are the kinds of things that we can do today. Drones help oil and gas companies by allowing maintainers to focus on maintenance, which is their you know, kind of biggest value add task. Uh, inspections, well, they are business value add, really uh, take away from a time that a, a maintainer as a subject matter expert can like be protecting uptime. So you know, by uh, automating and turning that unstructured data into structured data, the companies can focus on the things that they need to maintain and allow the people who have the capability to maintain those as much as possible. As far as the use of drones in oil and gas space, we're just getting past the early adopter phase. Uh, we're getting into a place where you know, a lot of companies are making it a cornerstone as far as the larger companies go, but there's still a lot of opportunity for smaller operators uh, and service providers to really be able to make effective use of drone technology. At the executive level, a drone program means data integrity and that they can have a high degree of confidence in the information that they're receiving from the field. It, it means having an uptime that's protected maximizing the output of all of their assets. And then finally, it means making the best use of business process automation in order to deliver hydrocarbons out to the market at scale.